Last chance, yo, another. Whoa, what's good, man? My name is Flim Low Brass. I want to welcome y'all back to another Last Chance You video. Today, we're going to talk about whatever happened to Wyatt Roberts from Last Chance You. Now, before we jump into the video, bro, I got to send a quick shout out to everybody who checked out the first three videos we've done. Uh, we did a video on John Franklin, DJ Law, and Ronald Ali. A lot, a lot, a lot of support on those videos bro i definitely appreciate it and this one was up next it's been highly requested honestly since the john franklin video dropped a month ago well the wait is oh let's go now if you're not familiar with the netflix documentary last chance you it follows east mississippi community college a juco school and it highlights some of the players on the team tells you about their actual aspirations of going to d1 schools after this some were in d1 before some weren't Everybody's got a different story. It's a great documentary. You need to check it out. And somebody asked in the last video, is there going to be a Last Chance U2 guest? That has been confirmed actually months ago by Netflix that there will be a Last Chance U Season 2 dropping. Uh, I believe it's supposed to drop in 2017. Now, while John Franklin III got the majority of the actual camera time and the majority of the actual attention from Last Chance U, the actual starting quarterback was Wyatt Roberts. Now, Wyatt is one of those guys who admittedly is not the most physically talented person, but got that it factor, man, that, that heart of a champion, bro. He was a fighter, a scrapper, clawer. Gotta love that. He reminds me a lot of Anthony Hancock from my UAB Dynasty series. I mean, it's hard not to compare those two. Fun fact, when Wyatt and his father got wind that John Franklin was gonna be coming to East Mississippi College, I was gonna challenge for the starting job. Wyatt had the opportunity to leave and jump ship. I wouldn't have blamed him, nobody, well maybe some people would have blamed him, some people are just. But essentially this is gonna be his last year in junior college, his last chance to gain an actual scholarship to a D1 school. He was like, look man, if I can't start here, at this point in my career, I can't start nowhere. So I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna battle for the job. That's ultimately what he decided and he won the job. You gotta respect that. Check out these stats from that last season, bro. Nearly 2,200 yards. They only played nine games in Juco, by the way. So 2,200 yards. But the most impressive is his touchdown to interception ratio. 23 touchdowns, only two picks. 23 touchdowns to two picks, that's what's up. Now, why it seems like a cool cat down to earth, so you definitely pull for a cat like that. Where the hell is he? Why it walked on at Mississippi State. And he talked about maybe doing this, but we honestly weren't sure if he was gonna actually play football or just attend the university. But he walked onto the team. And check out this quote by Mississippi State head coach Dan Mullen. Check this out. He said there was this kid he liked to walk on. He wants to get into coaching. I said it'll be a great opportunity for him. If you want to learn how to coach to be a football coach, there's no better place than this building. So Wyatt has joined the team as a walk-on, but he's really looking for a future in coaching. Wyatt had actually begun coaching as a student assistant at Starkville High School. And I'm sure he's gonna take advantage of the opportunity, learn as much as he can, build some nice connections, which are, which are amazing, which are great, and then have an opportunity to get into coaching after he's done playing. I like the move, that's a good play, bro. That's a damn good play, that's what's up, Wyatt. All right, man, here's the build that we're gonna be using. I literally just created a Wyatt-like character really quick, because he actually wasn't in the in the roster. There we go, Wyatt Roberts, number four, Louisville, Mississippi, six feet, 195, and I'm just showing you this in case you wanna use this build, this is not, the definitive build. I just, I kind of built this off the top of my head just based on, you know, what I saw from Wild when I watched last year's U. If he were actually on the game, he'd be a lot lower than this because he is a walk-on. And so he wouldn't be better than any of the other guys on the roster, which he is now. But I wanted to make him an 80 so we can make this entertaining, make it good, and you know, that's what, we, that's what we looking at. So here's what we got, man. Most important thing, I guess I gave him an 85 throw power, a 90 accuracy. Because Wyatt is a walk-on, we're gonna be doing this spring game style. We're gonna place Wyatt on the second team. It's gonna be the second team offense versus the first team defense with Wyatt as the starting quarterback. Yes, I know he's not second string in actual life, but he's gonna be playing with the second stringers here. Anybody got a problem with that? You? Mother 
All right, baby, here we go, man. Wyatt Roberts in the spring game. We're going to see what he can do. We're going to hand it off the first possession. I mean, play. Uh-oh, got to throw it. All right, man, so Wyatt going to make his first pass. Let's go, man. Let's see if we can get somebody open. We got LB. I mean, RB. He's open. Pick up that first. Oh, we bring him backwards way too much. All right, they stop him in the spring game short. You know that's a punt if you ever play football. So here we go. Drive two. Going to see if we can't get a little bit more popping this time. Here we go. Here we go. He's mixing. Ah, let's go. All right, why are you going to set up the screen? Oh, nice. Ah, let's go, baby. Quick pass out the backfield. Come on, Green. Ha, let's go, baby. <laughs> so Wyatt opening up four for four, man. Leads a touchdown drive on his second possession. Through pretty much all safe passes, but that's okay. We got to get it done. So, come on, Wyatt. Let's go, baby. Oh, they got the blitz. All right, we're going to check out of that. We're going to check out of that. Let's go now. Oh, nearly throw the interception. Very athletic play by the linebacker. Mmm. All right, let's go, Wyatt. Ah, I, honestly, I have no idea what the first team offense is doing. They turned the ball over in like point no seconds. But it's all good. More opportunities for us. We'll drop it off to the tight end. We have no problem with that. Let's go, baby. All right, man, another third down. RB, no, X. Oh, good throw. Let's go. Mm, nice. Let's go, baby. Come on, Wyatt. We got to get this TD, bro. Ah. Oh, fuck. But I want like a definitive drive. You know what I'm saying? And I think we might get it right here. Let's go. All right, man. We got a we got one last chance, Wyatt. It's going to be a tough drive. Let's go. Thank y'all for the timeout. So we finna go score. Ugh. Don't worry about making a mistake, man. Let's go. We gotta be aggressive right here. We gotta be aggressive. Hey! I can pull away from dude. Mixing. Let me get that drag route, pimp. Come on, B. Come on, B. That's what I'm talking about. Good throw, though. All right, man. Here we go. Couch finally catches it. Let's go now. <laughs> Difficult ass throw. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Let's go. Hmm. I needed that, bro. How long was that drive, bro? It had to be like a 98-yard drive. That is the definitive drive we needed, baby. Ah, let's go. All right, man, that was the game. So Wyatt balled out in the spring game right here, bro. We had 22 of 39 passes, not the greatest percentage, but 56, still positive. Uh, 292 yards, two touchdowns, and one interception. We got sacked twice. We had a lot of drop passes, bro. We should have definitely gone over 300 yards per completion percentage should have been a little bit better man we had guys dropping wide open passes but it's all good that was fun wanted to definitely show my boy why it's some love y'all click the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and if you've enjoyed the last chance you mini series i guess you can call it as a whole subscribe if you're new hit me up in the comments let me know if you're excited for season two of last chance you without further ado my name is flimlo raps one.